Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and uh, yeah, this is, it's been a, about a week since I made a video. <laughs> Just a mixture of being busy with the kids and life and all that stuff. But anyways, I got some finished objects to share with you, and uh, one of them I showed you recently, but I, I added something to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hop in and start showing you stuff. <laughs> Actually, most of the stuff you would have already seen if you watch my other videos, but I know some people don't watch all the videos. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to hop in. So, first, I'll, and all the links will be down below that I talk about. First is with the collaboration I'm doing with Michelle Estrada from Pixie Marie Crates. I did an amigurumi for, of a cat, and it was called the Loaf Cat. <laughs> and this is the Loaf Cat. So it looks like a little like a loaf of bread and it is a free pattern by Twiggy Chan and for the yarn I use Red Heart Super Saver black and then the little whiskers and the nose is dark heather gray <laughs> and I think I used a four millimeter hook for it uh, yeah, good. and it's so cute and these are eyes I got off of Amazon and you cute and it's so cute you want to see the cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and then let's see here the next thing is my s'more elf i did this was the same collaboration but the week before that and uh, i know i already showed it but i wanted to show it again because i did add the mouth <laughs> so i did get a safety mouth from my not safety mouth a felt mouth from my sister she sells them in her Etsy shop and any it cute i think that just added so much to it he's so happy but this is a paid for pattern let me make sure i got it right. by stuffing stuff on etsy i'll link that down below i used again a four millimeter hook for this and worsted weight yarns a lot of it's red heart and this light brown is um big twist but he's so cute i just finished him and i wanted to show him finished so, there you go. <laughs> uh and like i already showed the witch's hat i'm pretty sure i already showed that it's just on my list oh, of finished cool. objects this is the one i made for june so it's it's too small for my head <laughs> so i do gotta make two more of these i gotta make one jesse size and one my size and i am i think i'm planning on putting color bands on them uh, on her, so I'll probably put orange. Jesse wants purple. And I don't know what I'm, I might not do the to mine because I'm planning on putting like a spider on mine to go with my spider shawl, which is hanging right there. <laughs> um, that's what I'm planning. So I can wear it actually on Halloween night. But this is June's, and this is a free pattern called the Whimsical Witch Hat by Amanda Steves. And for this one, I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And the yarn is again Red Heart Super Saver. Oh, dark heather gray and I really like that color I got it at Ollie's but that's that so I do gotta start working on them on there too <laughs> need to get that done are you drawing everything <laughs> all right next is the greatest of chats which I showed in the video for um Grand square day <laughs> I think that was last Tuesday I think that was a week ago today uh, so I did make three of those so this is the June size one I made this from a YouTube video, and it is called, what is it called? Granny Stitch Hat by Stitching with Liz, and it's on YouTube. Are you good? I used an eye hook, which is a, no I didn't, I used an H hook, <laughs> which is 5mm, and Red Heart Super Saver Color Pulling Rainbow. So this is a smaller size one for June. Where's your hat? There you go. <laughs> and then this one is Jessie's. Which is a bigger size. He has a pretty big head, like you know, like my size head. And then this is the one that I made for myself. I don't know if I could put it on because I got a ponytail back there, so it won't go on the way it's supposed to. But that's okay. Um, oh. I love these hats. I look forward to just wearing them. <laughs> but it's such a pretty yarn. I think it's so bright. I got this at Ollie's as well, and I just love it. The pattern's pretty good too. Done. You want to put it back on? There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, my only other finished object is my little witch. I've only finished just the one. I haven't started the other two for my Halloween amigurumis to put out for the kids in the neighborhood. But I did finish the one I was working on. So here she is. She's so cute. Ta -da! <laughs> and she's so cute. I was going to put like a band on her hat, but I think it looks good without it. So I finished this while we were watching the other day. I mean, the kids was watching. Our internet went out for like three or four hours. It was like a... Not a nationwide outage, but it's like it was a lot of Tennessee uh, was out of it uh, from our company. But um, so we, we pulled out DVDs and we put in Hotel Transylvania, the first one. And I'll finish this while watching that with the kids. But she is so precious. She Her pattern is called The Smallish Witch. 
Who's it by again? I always forget. Mm -hmm. By Amber Grimmie to go. <laughs> I used a G hook for her, four millimeter, and her Hi. her dress mm -hmm. is Red Heart Super mm -hmm. Saver pumpkin. Thank you. Her mm -hmm. hat is black, Red Heart Super Saver, mm -hmm. and her leggings are black and pumpkin. And then her skin tone is uh, Big Twist Camel, and her hair is Red Heart something chocolate maybe or coffee I can't remember what it's called but yeah she's so precious I just love her so I am gonna make two more of these but different color schemes uh, I know I want to make one with a purple dress and one with the green dress but I don't know what I'll do for skin tones I don't know if I'll make more um, just actual like real people skin tones or if I'll go like cartoony witches you know I have green skin and sometimes like a purple color but I think she's so cute her little safety eyes are 12 millimeter safety eyes and I did stitch a little nose on there that's not part of the pattern I just like to I just think it's cute <laughs> and I made a little smile and I accidentally sold her arms on up so she's like happy <laughs> but uh, I think she's just so cute I love her I didn't put as much hair on her as I did mine because mine the one I made I think a year or two ago I put a lot of hair on and um, I don't think it needs that much hair but I did I just pulled some of her hair forward so it's like in front of her you know and she doesn't have a whole head of hair because I do sew the hat on. Uh, she's only got like, you know, like <laughs> around the top where it's bald on top. Uh, around the sides where it's bald on top. But I think she's so cute. And I, I hope the little kids love her. So I'm going to make two more of these little witches for that. And then I just have to make September and October. So I only got six, seven, eight more little <coughs> Amber Grimmies. Bless you. Bless you. To make uh, for my Halloween bucket. So that is all the finished objects I have. I do have another whip that I can't share with you because it's part of that collab that I'm doing with Pixie Mary Crates. Um, and I'm excited about it. And also I do have my, my Halloween blanket, which I have been working on a little bit. I haven't worked on it every day like I'm supposed to. And do you want this notebook to play with? And um, I haven't been watching my Halloween movies. <laughs> but it's just because of life, you know. Especially this last week was super busy. Uh, I think the last day I put out a video was Wednesday last week or Thursday, maybe. One of those days. <laughs> and then the weekend just hit and we were really busy the whole weekend. And then uh, Sunday I was like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to record my video. We ended up being busy all day Sunday. And then yesterday was Monday. <laughs> and we were busy all day Monday. We did. Uh, we had a lot of homeschool to do. And uh, just, you know, stuff around the house. And before I knew it, Devin was home. And then we had to go to my mom's. And we ended up grilling out at my mom's. And then we got home and it was dark. <laughs> So the day just flew by. Do you want a pin to play with? You want a pin? So I did work. A, I finished one whole row <laughs> of the triples. I, I don't know if you remember or if you've seen the video. I started this blanket two years ago with double crochets, and then I've been, somewhere through here I switched to half double crochets. It's like right here because they go faster. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a row of triple crochets. So I did a row of triple. So there's some red on it, black yellow white is where i ended there right there's the beginning of the next row i think there's some green on there too somewhere orange purple and red i started with red didn't i so i didn't add green to that row but i'm going to start right here i'm gonna add some more yarn today and uh a few people have asked how big i'm making this i have no idea <laughs> i'm just making it till i like the size right now it is pretty big it is about i measured it <laughs> roughly <laughs> I didn't get down and measure it perfectly, but it's about 60 inches by 60 inches. But it is a little rippled, which is fine. I don't care. It's a, it's a throw. <laughs> but uh, So it is pretty big right now. But I think I'm going to make it just a smidge bigger. And then I do want to make some more um, appliques to put on there. I think I'm going to put some of the little skull and crossbones that I found a, a uh, pattern for. And I think I might also make some little bats to put on here. So I love bats. <laughs> but it is so cute. I love the colors. I've been trying to stick with the Halloween-y colors. I think it's turning out so cute. I love it. And then the center square, if you haven't seen it, is a spider web. The little spider does have legs. It's just they curled up over the years and it's been washed a few times. So It'll, all the spider legs are like curled in. There's my black widow that I made. <laughs> yeah. Fun fact, I did enter this into the fair, I think in 2021, when it was much smaller as a baby blanket and it won, uh, I think, second place so that's pretty cool and it wasn't even finished technically like i wove in the ends and then after the fair i picked them back out the last end so i could continue on and um make it bigger <laughs> i knew i wanted to make it bigger i knew uh in 2021 i wanted to make it bigger 
Uh-oh, you got it on your hand? That's okay. And then last year, I worked on it again. And then I was like, you know what? I, I want to make it bigger. So this year, I did pull it out and start working on it again. <laughs> so I am going to continue working on that. I'm going to try to watch a Halloween movie today. Whether it be an actual like, horror movie is scary. Or I might start doing some more kiddier movies. Because we're starting to get... Yeah. Mama. Yeah. We'll clean it off later. Is that pin link it? Link it? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. So I am working on bags. They're actually sitting right here in, a, in my clothes basket. And I'm going to be sewing a lot today. Uh, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm going to try to put these out Friday in the shop. There's going to be uh, a bunch of tote bags, a few drawstring bags, and a couple of those drawstring bags will have no pouches with them. I was going to do, there were just two more. You can't see it. It's behind the sewing machine. But when I sewed them together, the liners just didn't go. Like you can see through it, and the, the outer fabric is really thin. And I, I just decided not to put those in this shop update because I'd have to like rip them out and redo stuff. So I just kind of throw them back there in the corner. I'll deal with them another day. But there, I think there's going to be um, five drawstring bags and like two of them are sets. And there's, I think, 15 tote bags. And uh, I'm going to try to shoot for Friday, which I think is the 25th of August. And then I'm going to start working on some drawstring bags because we're going on a homeschool field trip in the second week of September, first week of September, yeah. somewhere around there. And I just want to make some drawstring bags put in the shop just so we have some extra money because it is kind of a drive from us. And, um, you know, I want to be able to buy like the kids' things <laughs> when we're there. But, uh, so look forward to that. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see here. I'll probably make some Halloween bags. I got a whole stack of Halloween fabric over there that I purchased, and then some was also gifted to me. And they're just sitting over there waiting for Halloween time. <laughs> so, uh, for other people, it's already been Halloween time for me since the end of July. My whole house is already decorated. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I do have some clips that I might... No, I'll put those in the Halloween video that's coming out this evening. So, you watch this earlier in the day and come back later this evening to watch my Halloween video. And I got some clips from the weekend that I'll put in there. Mama. And, what? Yeah, your hand's dirty, but we'll clean it. You just keep on right. <laughs> but I'm, I guess I'm going to go ahead and hop off here. I thought this video was going to be longer, but I guess not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's see. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so come back for Watch Work on Wednesday. And then Saturday, the 26th, is when my next video with the collaboration I'm doing with Michelle Estrada at Pixamere Crates comes out. It comes out on the 26th, Saturday. And then there'll be one more that comes out on the 30th. Mama. Which I think is next Wednesday. Oh, he's so pretty. Good job. Um, Devin's birthday is next, the day before, whatever the 30th is, <laughs> whichever day that is, I think Tuesday. The 29th is Devin's birthday. Tomorrow, or not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow is my nephew's birthday. <laughs> His party is on the Saturday. So, we're going to be busy again this next week or two. And then it's going to be September. It's going to be the beginning of the Burr months, and I'm so excited. But, anyways, I am going to hop off here now, try to get this edited and up for you guys to see. I know it's been like a week. Sorry about that. But, uh, I've got plans for videos this next week as, as long as I can just sit down and do them. If my kids will let me. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye guys.